what's up with y'all this is jd travel stenics i'm back with another quick video and today's video is pretty much just going to be a workout vlog um, i'm going to share with you guys a workout that i did today i'm walking back from the park right now pretty much a basic calisthenics workout pull-ups leg raises handstands some lever raises stuff like that nothing too crazy also did some work with the agility ladder. I've been trying to do that every day to warm up along with some type of like high knees or jumping jacks or something like that. Oh yeah, if you guys are not subscribed to the channel and you're interested in travel and fitness content, also some content where I'm chopping up game about various different subjects, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell. Okay? But uh, yeah, aside from the workout piece, I wanted to share with you guys some stuff about my diet recently and how my diet's been slacking majorly. Um, I've been consuming way too much sweets, way too much junk food. I've been eating chips, snacking on stuff like that, um, like donuts, ice cream, cookies, all that stuff, pretty much on a daily basis. Actually, not even pretty much, on a daily basis, multiple times per day. But with that being said, intermittent fasting has pretty much been saving me because regardless of the fact that my diet has not been on point I've been fasting about 18 hours per day and with the 18 hour fast it's been keeping my body weight at the weight that I'm normally at it's also been keeping my body fat percentage fairly low as well I probably say my body fat percentage and my body weight is pretty much stayed the same maybe a little bit more on the body fat but I'm always around 180 pounds and I'm still 180 Aside from that, I also wanted to talk about something that kind of pertains to the series that I'm making about the laws of growth. And one thing that I'm not going to add in the laws of growth series, but I do think it can help you in terms of growth, is that sometimes we need to change our environment. And what I mean by that is, if we've been living in one place our entire life, sometimes we need to leave and go get a new perspective. Me personally, I've done that a couple times. I moved to Japan, lived there for about three years, had a business in Japan. That completely changed my perspective on things. And then after I moved back from Japan, I came out here to Hawaii and moved out here to Hawaii. And I feel like this has changed my perspective even more so and in a completely different way. And the perspective that I've gotten here and the lifestyle changes I've gotten here has been much less materialism. Um, health, health has improved a thousand percent, percent. My health has improved a thousand percent. Um, spiritually, I've gotten more in tune. And it's just been a great change for me all the way around. I feel like I'm at more peace. I've also just learned so much, met some cool people here, and just different things along those lines. One thing my mom always told me as a kid is that no matter where you go, you always bring yourself with you. And that is true. I agree with that 100%. You do bring yourself wherever you go, but sometimes you need to get out of a certain environment and get away from certain people and get away from certain negativity in order to grow. So I would say that both things can be true, but I feel like every man at some point in his life has to dip out, has to leave, leave uh, whatever area that he's from and go Kind of be by himself that's another that's going to be actually one of the laws of growth is that you need some solitude and one thing that i did when i first moved out here to hawaii is i pretty much would say i spent the first year out here in solitude and that first year all i did was read work out didn't drink went vegan just cleansed myself and just learned about myself I felt like that, that was like the biggest year of my life in terms of finding peace and growing. So that was pretty much the start of my growth journey. And I have more on the laws of growth coming up in some later videos. But that's pretty much all I wanted to share with you guys today in terms of intermittent fasting, in terms of changing environments, how changing environments can be a great thing for you as far as your maturity and your growth. But anyways, y'all. That's also it for the workout. That's also it for the workout. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the workout today. If you 
guys want to take some of these exercises and implement them in your own daily workouts, go ahead and do so. If you guys want any personalized workouts that I can make for you, no matter what level you're at, go ahead and hit my direct messages on Instagram or hit my email, my DM. My Instagram is uh, at TravelStenix and my email address is TravelStenix at Yahoo.com. Both of them being in the description. I'll let you guys later.